Hi guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Chris and this is Wobonix Gaming with the Code Vein on PlayStation 4. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. Oh, I'm so excited to get into this game. I've had it for a while but I haven't been able to uh, properly play it yet. I've played about 10 minutes of the game so far and past the first area it seems pretty hard. Good morning. Hey. Can you hear me? Think back. Search your memory for an image of yourself. Um... So I think we are going to go for a female character, female caster character. Uh, just because in this game I feel like, uh, because I played a bit of it, um, with the blocking you can you can block in this game but you're still going to take damage. <clears throat> so I don't feel like that's uh, going to be the way to go in this game. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be like pretty fast uh, dodging around attacks. Um, so with this character I'm going to be like, uh, you know, mainly dodging, get a bit of distance and then casting. Um, And there's loads of uh, different styles <laughs> in this game. Um, yeah, I got really excited when uh, the trailers came out and it started getting announced because it was like, uh, you know, like a an anime Dark Souls, uh, you know, Sou Souls like game. Um, Which I thought was pretty interesting. I mean, I, like personally, I'm not really into anime stuff. Um, is this the boob setting? Sure. Oh. Um, yeah, it seems like uh, my kind of play style of game. That should be fun to just uh, get into. I'm not going to spend too much <laughs> time creating this character anyway. Um, I'm just... That's what we use. But there's like, like you can see from these menus, there's like loads of customizable options, even like floating hats, <laughs> which you don't really get on the head. Um, okay. Um. Alright, the wizard's hat, a witch's hat. Yeah, like I said, there's loads of loads of accessories for your character to put on. Um, yeah, just we have some wings. I think we're we're gonna have some wings. Um, and you get like a you can see like at the bottom there's like a cost bar. So whatever you put on is gonna cost uh, the wear. You kind of need to. Yeah, not go too overboard with your selections. Uh, how do we get out of it? Okay, 
and the, I'm pretty sure there's like loads of other feet like when we click one of these um these things just have some wings <laughs> I don't know what they are yeah uh, let's throw some of these on um but yeah I want you to select them as different uh kind of editing for them as well are these different they are different colors I'm just gonna leave it like that it looks uh Okay, I guess. I say usually in these type of games, when it comes to when there's loads of customization, I'd usually just spend hours uh, just trying to come up with something decent. Under the towel. I'm just gonna stick with what we started with. That's kind of what we've built this around. that on mask frame hello <laughs> go on that's, that's what, what I like, like to see, see. well yeah. do, do you have enough to drink, to drink? <gasps> understood. understood goodbye have, have a safe, safe trip, trip. Oh. Teach, teach me the way, the way. Come, come with me, me. Let's stop for a drink. Hi. Wait. I'm not so sure. Um. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that's what you look like. Now, we can finally meet. We finally meet. Are you clear-headed? You will now be reborn as an immortal creature, a revenant. There are things you will need to know in your new life, so listen well. Each revenant has a different power coursing through their veins, called a blood cook. The best way to learn about it is to try it for yourself. Okay, check your blood code. Open field menu. Revenants possess special powers known as blood codes. Depending on the specific blood code, the revenant's stats will differ. To view these stats, select the currently equipped blood code on the menu screen. Okay, cool. like a like a little uh, sub menu on the UI on the bottom right corner which you can equip all your uh, gifts to your skills uh, so if you hold R2 it'll bring up the selection like the shortcut menu yes, that will do. so you just press the corresponding the effects gift. of the gift will not work unless it is prepared in advance I forgot something important you will need special blood to activate gifts this blood comes from revenants who have forgotten themselves and turned into monsters. The lost. You can drain Icon from the lost by striking them with your weapon. Remember that. Though 
Those are the basics of a fighter's gifts. Use and learn each of them well. Recurring gifts. <clears throat> okay, so this is just the attack, as uh, so this seems like a uh, basic action attack setup. So we lock on uh, weak attack and strong attack. A charged attack. Uh, dodge now wants a guard, and then we can switch weapons as well. Do we have any other? We've got the big hammer. We've got the sword. Probably going to be using the faster weapons. Uh, Well done. Ordinarily, a revenant has only one blood code, but you are different. The blood code you once held was broken and has vanished. That has left you with infinite possibilities. You have the unique talent to change your blood code. Come, look deep within yourself. Uh, Ranger <clears throat> code I don't know this code excels at providing support and defensive buffs with gifts Okay, so when we're equipping new, equip new blood code this is it shows you what stats change X to drain. Uh, I want an X combo drain. Find enemy back attack. What's the uh? the combo drain I need like a different weapon for that Start <clears throat> specializes in powerful attack type gifts that could be used from a distance. That is what is called the caster blood code. Casters possess powers like magic from a fairy tale. With it, you can use gifts to fire projectiles of blood. Um, okay. Learn it. Why not 
Disappearance of your blood code has left you with unique, limitless capabilities. Not only can you change blood codes, but you can acquire new ones as well. The strength of others can become your own, a talent that you alone possess. Since you are the only one who can do this, your blood is the only teacher you have. Uh, and now we're going to a cutscene. <sighs> Felt like I blended in a little bit to that training area. But it's nice to have all the all the basics just in all in one go. Welcome back. Hello. How are you feeling? Don't worry, it's okay. I don't remember either. Over there. It's dry, isn't it? We can go slowly. I am here with you. Just a bit farther. Seems everyone, everywhere, is thirsty. There is a spring that will cure that thirst. One that weeps tears of blood. That's what they said, anyway. This way.
so, it is you. Here, this is for you. A, a new, new spring, spring and, and a, a fresh, fresh source, source of labor. Ha <laughs> ha! We really hit the jackpot! Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. Forgotten about those too, have you? I'll tell you whatever you want to know, but first, go back there and put on a purifier mask. There's no way we're gonna find blood beads. The missile's all dried up, and the miasma keeps getting thicker. Telling us to look for blood beads here is just crazy. Are you going to kill me too? Anything for a kick, right? Just don't crush my heart. Stop already. My body may still be alive, but my soul died long ago. No one could stay sane after dying again and again and again and again. Don't take my memories. My family. I have nothing left. view never improves, does it? He came back home after the war against the Queen and found this mist. Getting close to it causes enough pain to drive you mad, so no one has ever crossed it. There's nowhere to go home to, even outside of this prison. Uh. <laughs> Looks like he's enjoying himself. Who's this guy? Looks, Looks like, like the folks, folks upstairs, upstairs want you. Well, well they can, can wait, wait, can't they? More, More importantly, importantly, that mask suits, suits you. Without, Without those things, we remnants will join the ranks of the lost in a flash. So be ca careful. Ah. <sighs> This is 
dry. And my asthma's pretty thick. Damn it! We're running out of time before the next collection. Everything's ready. Right! I'm on my way. <laughs> all dried up, just like the others. Y yeah, all dried up. So there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's... You know what these are, right? Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's, it's only, only a short, short time, time before, before the collectors, the collectors come, come to take, take our levy. levy. But once, once they, they do, do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. them. If we, we don't, don't find some, some Silva's, Silva's hounds, hounds will strip, strip the, the shirts right, right off our backs. Well, that's, that's the long and short of it. Why, Why does it have to be us? us? Don't, don't ask me. me. The, the stupid, stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. You lot go first. Get to work. Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! Whoa there. You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. You heard him. Move it! Ouch. Hey, you okay? It looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ah, Oliver Collins. Good guy. Uh, wrestling at Missile. When you're wrestling at Missile, your HP and regeneration uses are restored along with your I-Core. However, your icon stock limit will return to normal if it's been increased by gifts. You can also acquire gifts contained in your blood code by selecting Acquire Inherit Gifts and increase your gift proficiency using items. Lastly, beware that defeated enemies will revive after you rest near missile. Be ready for anything. I guess it won't open. <clears throat> Alright. So we can't, um... There's gonna be a few things that we wanna get. There's kinda of like a like the job system uh, from Final Fantasy. Where you kinda of like uh, equip your job and then gain experience. Uh, so we'll stick with fighter. Make sure we've got everything equipped that we can have equipped. And then uh, we gain experience for the skills as we fight stuff. And then once they are like maxed out in level we can uh, bring them over to other uh, blood codes. A dead lost. I've never seen one before. I say dead, but they're not really dead. It's just a dormant state before they turn into real monsters. So I've heard from the start. So we can just leave them. Using an upgrading regeneration. Uh, HP can be recovered through the use of regeneration resting in missile or for your regen stock. The number of regens and amount of HP recovered can be increased using regen extension factor 
region activation factor. Generation can be used as items while exploring. This is the uh, the light dash. Is there something good in there? You have to use whatever you can to survive. Okay, equipment and equipment restrictions. Each piece of equipment has stat requirements on weight, exceeding your weight limit restricts your ability to dodge attacks. Not meeting the stat requirement greatly decreases your attack power. Equipment can be changed from the menu screen. Both a main weapon and sub weapon can be equipped. These weapons can be switched without opening the menu. By pressing up. Which way do you think is better? Proving haze. You lose any haze in your possession when you die. This lost haze can be reclaimed by returning to the location where you died, but only the haze that you possess at the moment of your death can be collected. If you die again before collecting it, the uncollected haze will be lost forever. Uh, so we can do a parry, um, I'm clearly not good at timing that just yet. So confused as to what a focus state. Your focus gauge fills as you get hit or dodge enemy attacks. Once it is full, your stamina will be replenished and you will enter a focus state. You become harder to stagger and can move easily. easily. You can more easily stagger enemies. You also gain the ability to knock enemies into the air and perform a drain attack on one. Oh, okay. I will not triangle to launch attack. Um, so maybe that happens whether it focus the I will and X. Try to lock on there, it wouldn't. There's an item back here as well. Asian noodles. Oh man. Right, okay, so when you focus, you could do the combo attack, which is the R1 and X. But it gives you an instant uh, focus attack. 
at an instant drain attack. Of the number item. I keep missing all these items. They're appearing just on the map. Good. Okay, mapping. Uh, during exploration, when you purify the miasma in the area, you'll be able to map your surrounding. You can purify miasma by uh, active missile, missile, purify a rotten missile, defeat the loss that infect, infected with a rotten missile. Gifts of Dread Attacks, power differ depending on the blood veil, veil you equip. Blood veils also affect your stats getting and drain ratings. For example, using Blazing Roar with a blood veil possess, possessing high dark gift efficiency will increase its attack power. Okay. Um, this one. Better. No. gonna have that one although we have gained some I've inherited some some abilities I do believe we got these oh uh, we can learn these um what else can we learn I don't know uh, and this one, oil spa. Um, so I feel like I need to just learn these basic abilities. Let's, uh, let's get these up so we can carry these over. So that's for whenever we level up, we can use those. Uh, information about the controls and hints on exploration can be viewed anytime from read hints on the menu screen. Earlier? Are you okay? Did you get hurt? you in a bit. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Go on. You just focus on finding some blood beads, all right? That girl is waiting for you. Ah, that looks like his mask is bark.
was trying to get a parry in there. Like the timing's like one. One. By one, two. Is there like an indication? So these guys are like kind of slow and easy to just run around the back and back back that. So we must have them gifts. <clears throat> uh, so we can switch out. Can we? Uh, yes, yeah, so let's do it now. It's just kind of. Yes, yeah, so they move over to the skill. Put that and that. This is the Hunter build.
bit like the fast dodge. Um, Alright, <coughs> I think that's everything in this area. Yeah, you can level, level up by spending a haze when resting that missile. Level and up increases your HP, stamina, attack, and gift power. Nice. Ah, that's lots of rest here. So we've got all those. We oh, I want to get this. This is the item finder. Um, how much are they? So we have enough to get these as well. And then we can save the rest when we equip our other thing. Gonna tell you how many items are around nearby. Um, yeah. and Queenslayer Thorn. Press the wrong button to go there. So that's another decrease to to gifts. So it's more towards um, elemental attacks and find. I think it was a plus. Apart from blue blue hounds, uh, means that there's stuff for C plus in mind. Yeah, the claw looks like it's better at the minute. We're gonna keep that one on. Um, let's just get some be done. Run up here and get these guys. like a shotgun. Uh, so literally with this, um, this dodge it seems like you can just like warp behind enemies. Did you get a backstab? Just try that out. Pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Can we do it with this? Uh, let's take on this guy. Whoa, calm down. I still don't. Uh, can't quite get a backstab yet.
Yeah, it seems like you can uh, essentially just do that. Just walk behind them. Get back. Stab. Makes this game so much easier. <laughs> We have all there. There's nothing up there. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm just doing like a set. I can just drop down here. I'm just uh, <laughs> just getting used to this whole game. Get a bit of experience, so we can like start getting into our caster class, which I think. Uh, let's just check see if we've got all of our all of our skills up. Uh, we still haven't got that. Venom mark. Temporary applies the venom effect to your current weapon. Maybe we have to use this to... That's because we didn't have it equipped. Let me... So it'll take a second. through again. So I don't know what this does. Um See what our <laughs> caster build is going to be like. Um, I'm probably going to do this a lot as well if we get um, like a, a new blood code, which is like some skills that I want, even some skills that I don't want. I'm probably just going to be um, here running around trying to trying to get all the uh, upgrades. So we could potentially move over to the next. Um, build. Alright, so we got all those. We have got all those. And now we are gonna get all these. So let's just acquire these so we can learn them while we're doing it. And this one Dark Impulse increases the effect of dark gifts while you are focused. That's nice. And this is gonna be, um, get a few levels as well while we're here. And then we get to go build. You no longer meet the stat requirements to effectively, so it's going to be the big weapon. Okay. Um, two fifteen. weapon as well. Um, yes, yeah, so this is our blood shot. It is in the dark tree. And we want this big one as well. Um, what does that do? Spend your own HP to restore HP of companions. We're probably not going to be having a companion through most of this.
A second cooldown, two second. Uh, attack type pierce, non physical, blood. Attack type crush with fire. Pierce, two second cooldown, one shot. Um, temporarily creates a barrier around you and your partner that boosts blood resistance. That's gonna be magic resistance, I'm assuming. Or just towards blood, anyway. Um, poison. And shift in heart, dash forward in mist form. What does this? I, I don't understand what it does though. It doesn't dash it forward that far. Okay, let's get that on and this, I guess. Actually, poison weapon. Um, and we've got weapon drain rating up. Give me not hatch this. Alright, so we want more health. <laughs> we want more stamina. Yeah, do we though? Now, oh, yeah. Uh, increases drain rate on a weapon. Yes. Last one. Increase the effect of dark gifts while you're focused. Uh, reduce stamina consumption from garden while you're focused. And reduce stamina spent while you're focused. Uh, so, yeah, we'll get the dark impulse. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. It's good to me. Just uh, regain our stacks of things and let's have a little play with this. Uh, so let's go and help this guy. Take a bit of damage there as well. Um, take some damage by like half. Very powerful. You run up and try and finish. Um, okay, so that's really powerful. It just take a a bit to charge up though. We are out. So I'm wondering if this is gonna do. Uh, AOE damage or not? quickly that damage that is a lot of damage now we are out kind of need some drain five five Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty nice. Felt like I did do a bit better as the with the hunter stuff. Uh, but yeah, not too bad. Um, right. Uh, 
Um, I've got some levels as well. One. Oh, well, I think we've got all of our skills that we wanted. Um. Yeah. Um. Right, so we're going to end this video episode here. Uh, thank you for watching this far, and if you would like to show your support for the channel, then please click the like and subscribe buttons at the bottom of this video, along with the notification bell. Um, yeah, hope to see you again in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.